they're like no there's something in the bag aside the medication hey guys welcome to jackpa decoded uh this is a channel where we share everything about relocation and how you can thrive as an immigrant in the uk um in today's video i'm going to be sharing something a heartbreaking story about what happened to me at the airport if this sounds like something you're interested in and you want to get the fujis do watch this video to the very end all right so let's get started i traveled back to africa um some weeks ago for a not so good experience as i was coming back i felt like it was a very good opportunity to get some hair products for my baby because she's got this fussy hair that is becoming quite challenging to manage and i just don't want to use relaxer on her hair just yet because she's just a baby all right so i got some hair products with my hard earned money my my brothers and sisters it was i don't want to say expensive but it was good for the money and i decided to use that as an opportunity to get them for her all right so but the period wasn't a very good one for me so i wasn't in the right frame of mind and all of that and i had a lot of things to do within a short period of time so i just packed my luggages anyhow but one thing i did that was very good was that i weighed them i knew i was allowed to carry 223 kg of luggage and about is it 8 or 10 kg there about in my hand luggage so i ensured that the weight was okay but what i failed to do was ensuring that the right stuff were placed in the right um bags or luggage all right so the first shocker i got was when i got to the airport and I passed my stuff through the first candy machine at the entrance they asked me to bring out to bring a particular bag one of the 23 kg bags and they said what was i carrying inside i said full stuff and probably some of my baby products like that so they asked me to open down like why they've never asked me to open my luggage at the airport except for weight or something so it was almost like i was carrying an exhibit <laughs> so but i was sure of myself so i opened the luggage and they started looking shuffling through my luggage and he pointed to the shampoo and was like what's that i said it's a hair shampoo for my baby so he brought that and said okay that's fine it's not a problem and closed the bag and we went on and even when i got to the check-in area they checked my bag like at the airport nigerian airport they checked my bag and weighed my bag and everything made the right weight and so they decided to check it in so i still had about two hours almost three hours left before my flight and my brother-in-law that followed me to the airport and let's go stay with him and spend some time some time with him so i after checking in i went back to stay with him so i stayed with him for about two hours thereabout and decided you know what it's time for you to leave so you don't get home so late so i saw him out of the airport like out of the entrance all right so when i was coming back in i had to scan my hand luggage again that i was carrying and they told me there was something inside it beeped i was like oh my god what's that and they said there's something in the bag so i said probably it had to be the like coconut oil and they said it can go in that if i still have time i should go check it in my hand in my luggages all right and this has been over almost two hours since i checked in my luggages all right so when i got there they said they can't bring it back anymore i'm like oh my god i bought this coconut oil very expensive it was heartbreaking for me but my brother-in-law had gone i could not give him back the oil anymore so i had to like risk it so when i got to the what do you call it when i got to the point of moving in boarding they told me again that there's something in that bag so i had to like open up the person that i think is this coconut oil and i brought it out and i told her you know what i don't have time again i asked what what's her name and i had to like give it to her dash her like at least she told me a thank you it was better than just like losing it so i that didn't pain me so much because i felt like i gifted it to someone all right <laughs> so and I, I i went into the plane so i used a transit um flight yeah so my flight was going to turkey istanbul and when we got there we had to do another scan again and like scan everything on us and i was surprised when my hand luggage like beeped again i was like no not again so the actual was in my bag i said probably is my clothes and maybe some medications i have for my baby they're like no there's something in the bag 
aside the medications i was like oh my god that's how they had to like start emptying my bag again it was quite embarrassing that was how they brought out a shampoo and a conditioner from my hand luggage and in my presence without anything without talking without negotiation nothing they just trashed it into the can in my presence they trashed it into the waste bin like my heart was paining me i didn't know i i, I was so pained but there's nothing i could do about it what they told me was that it was more than 100 mil that they allowed um amount of liquid or something of that kind of stuff in your hand luggage is 100 mil and of course mine was 500 mil each of them so there's nothing i could do about it they trashed them into the can in my presence it was heartbreaking so at least i've learned one or two things um the major thing i've learned from that is that if i'm carrying anything like that on a flight especially on an international flight i should put them in my check-in bag and not my hand luggage and even if i'm going to carry any of it in my hand luggage at all it shouldn't be more than 100 um meal all right so um in case you're planning to travel very soon on an international flight don't be like me ensure not to carry liquid in your hand luggage and if you are going to carry anything like that like hair products or something make sure you check them in your hand um, in your checking bag and not your hand luggage so if you've learned anything from this video and you've watched this video to, the, to this point and you've not subscribed to this channel like what are you waiting for <laughs> i don't want to say what's the color of your problem Sha. <laughs> yeah what are you waiting for do well to subscribe to our channel um like this video share this video with your friends and anyone who is planning to travel on an international flight very soon and if you've got questions ask me in the comment section and i will make sure i answer all of your questions all right so um thank you so much for watching this video to this very point until i come your way again i remain comfort gideon bye